FIFA 22 is finally here for any Ultimate Team coins. Make sure you check out Use Some by link in the description down below. Use my code Zader at checkout for 5% off. Yo, what's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of the RTG, the BS RTG, the bro, the broke student RTG. We are back with another episode for you guys today. We're going to be doing basically all my new content. I don't really know what I wanted to talk about in this episode, so I'm going to do it kind of as I go on the spot because I just edited this, but we're going to be doing all menu content. We're going to start off the video with a huge pull once again, which is kind of what has helped us with so much profit as it says in the title. We get Kingsley Coleman, 93 pace, 88 dribbling with some other decent stats as well. I didn't even know he was a walkout. I thought maybe he was going to be like 85, 84 or something, but it looks like he's 86 rated now, so that's a cool one. I didn't really hear much great stuff about him to be honest I, I saw some comments about his card and he wasn't anything great apparently so I didn't want to try him out really didn't really catch my attention um, and of course if I wanted to link him it would be not the easiest thing because you need like Alfonso Davies or you need a midfielder from Bayern and I don't really have one so I went ahead and sold him I think it was about 40,000 coins for him so I went ahead and got rid of him and then I had a couple other players in that pack as well that were sellable so I went ahead and listed them up basically what I want to show you guys is how I have made so many coins so I have played about 10 hours of the early access already and that's me not really playing the game that much like I have really barely put any time into the game just because I've been so busy with other stuff with work and school right now but I've been putting my time into the SPC. So I made 150K in about 10 hours, kind of just chilling and, and not really doing much. And this is, I'm gonna show you guys how. So basically first thing you wanna do, first thing I did was I attacked the hybrid nations, hybrid leagues, league of nations, SPCs, all that stuff. I still need to do the one that gives you the team of the week pack or the team of the week kit and the 13,000 coins. I still gotta finish that one. The last one needs loyalty and I just don't have enough players. Excuse me. So I'm gonna have to do that one for sure in the in, in, coming up because I just don't have enough loyalty on my players. So we're gonna be finishing that. But I basically do the hybrid nations and hybrid leagues on this one. I get my 50k's, my 55k's, my 35k's. All these bags are super useful. You basically can sell everything. You can even sell the contracts. If I were you guys, something I don't do. But if I were you guys, list up all your contracts as well. List them up as many times as you can. Go ahead, sell them. Injury cards, all these things. Sell them. 200 coins. If that's what it sells for, that's what it sells for. That's great because you will get untradeable packs as you go as you progress into the game you're going to get untradeable packs untradeable packs are going to be the way to go and they're going to be the ones that you do use the contracts from because you can't sell those obviously so there were 200 coins go ahead and sell them relist them 10 million times and, and just do that until you can so we go ahead and complete this brazil squad this brazil squad by the way is super 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 expensive the center mid from the saudi league and the right mid from the mls are extremely expensive for the hybrid leagues last squad but sometimes that's what you got to do and for me let me tell you guys this if you guys are starting the game barely and you have 20 30 000 coins go ahead and do these spcs because you will either make profit or break even and to break even it's hard to lose coins you have to be skilled to lose coins because it is really 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 easy to make your coins back to make some profits from these SBCs man it's not difficult at all it's so 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 easy which is why I have 150k right now I'm pretty sure if you get better pulls than me you're gonna get 200 300,000 coins just from purely doing these SBCs man it's, it's pretty pretty easy and even the 83s the 84s that really aren't selling like for 15 1600 coins go ahead and sell them as well there's really no point in keeping them around and the coins that you're going to get back, you can use to improve your team, you can use to do more SBCs. Just go ahead and sell them anyway, because you might be like, oh, let me hold them for a better SBC to come out, and then that better SBC, then I could sell them, or then I can use them for the SBC to get the SBC for cheap, like another wants to watch SBC. Just sell them. Just sell them, trust me, it's the best thing you can do, and you're going to get the coins back, and you're going to be able to invest it into something else. Now, I get Casper Schmeichel for my 50k pack. Something I'm not very, very uh, happy with, but in that pack overall, we get one best. The best player that we do get in that pack is going to be the Brazilian from uh, the Saudi League, which is great because he's like 7,000 coins. I went ahead and submitted him, and now I have him back in my club. And let me go ahead and sell him once again. But I was surprised like Mkhitaryan isn't worth that much as well. I kind of checked this price like a couple times, and I'm like, dude, this guy is discarded. There was so much hype around him before the game came out. I packed another inform as well. 
Don't really care about this inform to ensure it. Not very good. I always discard my informs. I think I've packed like three informs at this point. So I went, and, uh, went ahead and discarded him and basically every single one I've gotten because I haven't really gotten anyone that's good. So we went ahead and discarded him, listed up Sula, um, and we keep the process going. How I said, I'm trying to list as much stuff as possible, showing you guys everything I am selling on my transfer list as well. Everything that sells, I show you guys. Everything that I list up, I show you guys. So I went ahead and did that. Uh, so I really have a really nice process going right now because there's always an influx of coins. Every time I go on my account there's something new that sells if something doesn't sell I can relist it and then I can just keep going because there's always going to be more stuff to sell especially this early in the game the most random players are gonna sell for example like you need bronze players silver players for some of these lower end SPCs for the hybrid leagues and all that stuff I'm buying I me personally I'm buying like players from the Mexican League that are bronzes I'm buying silver players that are non rares that are rares from like weird leagues like the Indian League the Norwegian League all these leagues that are random and people might not really care about I'm buying these players because I think okay no one's gonna buy these no one's really gonna be listing these up for much let me go ahead and pay like two three hundred coins for some of these cards finish the SBC and then go on my way so there's a lot of people that think like that as well. Like I, I think to myself, okay, maybe people won't think of it, but there's some people that think of this way, uh, think of things this way as well. We complete the hybrid nations, which is nice, and we move on because I think this one gives a rare mega pack. There we go. So this one has a lot of consumables in it. You guys can go ahead and list all those consumables, and it will get you a lot of the coins that you do need back because, as I said, you can just reinvest it. So what I did, which is kind of backwards from what most most people do is I went ahead and attacked the more advanced SBCs first and then I went ahead and left the lower end the SBCs for later. Now, the reason I do this is because I have like 20, 30,000 coins, okay? 20, 30,000 coins is enough for me to go through the SBCs, the higher end SBCs, try and pack something good, and then try and get more coins because if I do pack something good, like for example, I packed Ederson, which is 40K, I went ahead and sold him, I went up from 20k to like 50 60k that allows me to freely complete the rest of the SBC the hybrid leagues hybrid nations without worrying about having to pack something but I'm probably going to pack something so in the end I'm going to be making profit anyway I'd rather put that risk into a bigger pack than put it into smaller packs something that's not gonna make me coins and then try and scrap to complete the more advanced SBCs if that makes sense so that's what you kind of want to do Get 20, 30,000 coins. If you're wondering how do I get 20, 30,000 coins, it honestly is pretty simple in this game. The one thing that's obviously different from previous years is that you don't get the rivals placement coins from before when you used to get those. It used to be so much more beneficial because because you would just get a big coin boost like in the beginning of the game and then you can just use that to whatever you want. You can build a team, you can use it for SPCs or whatever. For me, the most beneficial way to get coins in the beginning was just do the objectives, get some packs, get untradeable packs, do some SPCs, play a couple games here and there, it's really not that helpful. But at the same time, when you have the coin boost in the beginning, it does help you. So play a little, play a couple games, because you do have to play a couple games to complete some of the objectives, right? So that is still useful. I'm not saying stay away from games, but at the same time, I'm not saying put you, the, the whole time into the game on your games, because it's not going to give you the most return. We want to try and maximize our potential here, because how I said for me, I don't have that much time on this game. I think I've played maybe six or seven games of this FIFA so far. Actually, that's a lie. I think I've probably played nine or ten. Nine or ten, I think I played like three or four last night. And then that's basically it. Basically, all this content, by the way, is from the last two days. Most of it is from yesterday. I was basically doing homework on one screen, and I was doing SVCs on the other screen, and I was just chilling for a couple hours uh, and having a good time, man. Just menu grinding is actually really fun in the beginning because you make so many coins from players that you're like, why is this guy so expensive? Like, Matuidi sold for five, 6,000 coins. It's because he's a French player from an off league that's rare, so he helps a lot for SBCs. So, that was a great one to get. I went ahead and sold him for like 5, 6K, which was very, very nice. Um, and even if you don't pack big players, even if you pack boards, it doesn't guarantee that you make coins, but if you do sell everything, you're technically guaranteed to make coins. I know that kind of might seem like very obvious and <laughs> like it sounds dumb and it doesn't make sense, but just sell everything, list everything. I don't care if you have to list it 5, 10, 10, 15, 16 times list everything sell everything I, I can't really express it enough i know in previous years people have said this before and i personally didn't listen to it like i heard my favorite content creators be like hey sell everything you're gonna make your coins and, and you're gonna move i didn't really listen to them because i was like you're 
crazy or out of your mind. It really doesn't work like that. Like, not everything's going to sell. But this year, I'm kind of playing a different. I'm really selling everything, even if it's a player I want. I'm selling everything, and it really is helping me. Like, I have 150,000 coins. I've played less than 10 games of FIFA. I've basically done all SBC. I've gotten a little bit lucky here and there. I packed Wijnaldum here, who's 15k. I packed Ederson yesterday. I packed Komen yesterday. And those are my two walkouts that I've packed this year. So, yeah, man. Like, even my 50k pack with Casper Schmeichel, I didn't really get lucky. But... I could still sell him, I could still sell some other players that I packed in that pack, and then I can make some coins here and there. Like every little bit does count, and then even if you have to use those coins to go buy a player, it's still an investment and you can still kind of make your coins from playing actual Rivals games. Because right now, in my opinion, the most important thing is to just grind the menus, get as many coins as possible, get ahead before everyone else catches up, before everyone else has the game, because you gotta remember, man, not everyone else has the game. I'm, I'm, this is called the Broke Suit in RTG, and I went ahead and bought the Ultimate Edition. It kinda hurt me to buy the Ultimate Edition, but I did it. I, I, I kinda regret it, because I wanted to use my 10 hours early access all the way to October 1st, which is my birthday, on Friday, but I was like, you know what, man, let me get the Ultimate Edition, because if not, I'm gonna have to wait like two, three more days, and I can't be doing that, because I wanna, I want to play this game, I want to make content for you guys and all that stuff. By the way, these manager leagues, these um, little badges and stuff, always discard the badges, always discard the TIFOs. They don't really matter unless you really, really like them. Discard them, sell them, whatever you want to do. I, I would say discard them because no one's really going to buy them. The manager leagues do sell, the chemistry styles do sell. I would say try and sell those if you can as well. And here we go into the gameplay, man. We go ahead and play two games. Um, this was just me playing by myself on Rivals and me playing by myself. Okay, let me let me say that again. I was just playing on Rivals, and I was just kind of uh, chilling with my team, trying out a new player, because I bought Pepe, I replaced my long lay. You guys will see the team after the first game. So I went ahead and bought Pepe, I replaced long lay, and then I kind of just kept the rest of the team the same. So it's still looking like Lukaku, Rafa, Hazard with Saul in the midfield, Marino in the midfield, and all that stuff. You guys will see it in just a second. I'm trying to switch up the team in the next day or two because I do have a lot of coins now, I have more options, so I will be going down a different route and I will be going down a different formation, man. Let me know what formation you guys have been trying because for me, I still haven't really figured this game out. I haven't really... I figured some things out, but formation-wise, I still am kind of experimenting and seeing what other people are running and seeing what would kind of benefit me. I'm looking to try the 4-4-2 next. I tried the 4-3-3-2. That's what I was trying with one CDM and two center mids. I was also trying the 4-3-2-1, which is very nice. But I'm seeing that my center mids do push up a lot. Like, they press a lot and they win the ball back. Like, if you see Marino here, why is he there? I don't know. But he wins the ball back. And I think that in a level like this, which is only the Division 10, like, I will go up to Division 9 after I win this game, as you will see. But in Division 10, I might be able to get away with it, pressing high with my midfielders, getting them out of position. But once I get into the higher divisions, it's not really going to work. So I kind of want to fix that before it becomes a problem. So I think a 4-4-2 would be a very, very nice start. Pair Lukaku up with someone else. I'm not too sure who I'm going to put next to Lukaku, but I'm kind of have some players in mind. Someone like Muriel. Uh, but then getting him the strong link is going to be the issue. So I'm kind of just trying to figure some things out. I kind of wanted to keep Pepe into the team because Pepe's really, really, really freaking good. But there's other two. There's like so many other center backs in this game which are just as good as him. So I think I will be selling basically the whole right side of my team and getting someone else so yeah man i played some rivals games i had some fun i had some i had some great games lukaku is still tearing it up i finally put a chem style on him i put a hot chem style on him which does help out a lot because it basically maxes his physical gives him a little bit of a pace boost makes him a little bit uh quicker and then boosts his finishing shooting shot power all that stuff which is exactly what you do want man he is an absolute animal a lot of people say that they don't like the way big men feel in this game i don't know why people say that when I love the way Lukaku feels in this game, his left stick dribbling is incredible. I know a lot of people have been enjoying Holland this year as well. I haven't really played against him, played with him, anything like that. But coming up against Holland, or sorry, not coming up against Holland, watching Holland, watching other people play with Holland, he looks great. He looks like his left stick dribbling and his dribbling in general is amazing. We get Caputo, by the way, from my Ultimate Team of the Week pack, the Ultimate Edition Team of the Week pack, free Team of the Week pack, free Team of the Week player, whatever you want to call it. I got Caputo, which is actually a pretty good one because he's actually a very usable player. Get Lone Mbappe, Lone Foden, and we move. 
But that is going to be it for today's content, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please drop a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. A lot of menu content, a lot of SBCs complete. So we still have like one more big SBC to complete in the next episode. I showed you guys two more games. We're probably going to have a squad builder coming in the next coming days and all that stuff. I will try and get that to you guys as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. I'm out.